Mike here on Facebook. I'm on the We Create Official Group page. This is at the top. I'm going to click over here to Files. And I'm going to scroll down. And it's down towards the bottom. It says Jig Attached WWS February 25th, 2024 by me. I'm click it. And then um, it's going to show up like this. Uh, and then I'm going to click on the file. It says Jig Attached WWS Version 1. I'm going to click on it. And then I'm going to, um, it's going to show up here on my downloads. I'm going to hit open file. And then it's going to show up on We Create. Okay, so here it is on We Create. Um, if you want to put the words in, you can leave the words in, let them print, whatever. Um, but the main things that you got to do without, you don't want to change the size in any way. Because uh, these two red dots here, one there and one there, when they cut out, they will line up with the rotary attachments on the deck of your uh, We Create Vision. Okay, so as long as those are red and the outline of the outside of it's red, go ahead and put your wood in the machine. I'm going to hit refresh. This is my old um, alignment. So I'm going to get it here someplace where it's not crossed out on anything. I'm going to hit auto focus. Then what I'm going to do is once it auto focuses, I'm going to print and cut it and then I'll be right back with you. So it says ready to go. Positioning looks good. Start. Send. I'll go press a button. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so here's the piece. Once it's done, these two holes here go in the two holes over here that your rotary attached to. Just like that. Build your deck off of it. And the whole purpose behind this is so that whenever you do something, every single time, the pay the piece that you're going to engrave on is in the exact same place. Uh, let me show you a couple of jigs that I've made up. Again, using that board, <clears throat> I just attach it to a bigger board here, which this is an old cabinet door. Um, so when I screw it in place, this is the same place every time. Um, this is a jig for pen and pencils. Um, but now, once I stick this in there, every time I call up the file on Make It, the pencils are in the exact same spot because this jig drops in there. This is the master jig that I've got and you can pull this out. That board stays in. And then you can switch that jig out with another jig. And once it's in there and lined up, it should slide into place. Here, click into place. Once it's in there, now I can use this. This is for little metal discs. Um, like I say, as long as it's in the same spot every time, it'll work for you. Um, then I've got another one <coughs> that I use. Same, same, same principle. Every time I call this up, it's going to be the same spot. This is for cutting boards or for um, clipboards. So I put board in, call it up, and we create. Do it. Pull it out. The next one in. It's going to, the logo will be at the exact position every single time. So yeah, the only <coughs> the only reason for this place, this piece, is so that you can screw it into those holes and make it the exact every time. It'll save you a lot of time in the long run.